Hi guys, we have a bonus Craftmas video. Woo woo! I just felt like doing one more, I guess. So this is a bonus 13 days of Craftmas, not 12. Woo woo! Okay, so this is gonna be a quick and easy tutorial. I'm making these cute tiny little stockings I got from the Target dollar spot. These were actually $1. I'll show you them below. Um, super cute. So I'm going to use flocked anti-tay, uh, HTV with this. And I'm also going to show you guys how to use the curved, um, text feature. So first I'm going to make a text box and I'm using the confetti font here. And so I am going to write out my nephew's name, Cooper. Um, and then all we need to do to use the curved text is come right over here. So my stocking is like, let's see, let's see if they have a template. Ha, they do. So I'll also show you guys how to use the template. So my stocking obviously is not this big, but what my thought was is I kind of want to put the name so it's like kind of curved like right here. Um, so we can use this template to kind of show us how, or roughly give it a, us an idea of where this is gonna be placed and all that. So I'm gonna use the curved text feature and all you do is just move this dial and you can start to see your text curve. So we don't want ours too curvy but kind of at like a slight curve and then we can just kind of place it where we want. See, I think that looks kind of cute. Give it a little more curve maybe. I think that looks cute. We can even flatten it out a little bit. All right, so I think that looks cute. So now I need to, of course, do three more. So we're going to do Maddie and Morgan. So I'm just going to scooch Cooper out of the way. I think that looks good. And then Maddie's is the only one I think I need to do a little less. All right, so I just made these a little bit smaller. So I'm going to come over here to make it. And I'm just going to move these around. Make sure they'll fit on my sheet of flocked HTV. Should fit okay. All right, and again, I'm gonna mirror these because we are using HTV. So anytime you use HTV, unless otherwise specified, you always, always mirror. So we can hit continue. And for this also, I'm going to be using my um, iron, so no need for a heat press unless you want to, but this material that, or the little stockings I'm using are so small, I think a heat press would just be like way too much. All right, so let's browse our materials, because I'm sure they have some kind of flocked HTV setting. I don't know why my computer is going so slow right now. Flocked, flocked iron on, perfect. That's the setting we're gonna choose. Hit done. And I'll switch you guys over to the camera so you can. All right, so as I mentioned, we are gonna be using this flocked HTV. So flocked basically means it has like a little um, fuzzy texture to it. So just like any other HTV, we have this shiny side here. So we're gonna put our shiny side face down on our mat. Get 
this down good on our mat. And we already have our Cricut settings ready to go, so we're just going to insert our mat. And we will cut. All right, so we can unload our mat. We're done with that now. All right, so we can take our piece of HTV off the mat. So first I'm just going to trim this bad boy up. All right, so now I'm going to separate these. Honestly, my nieces and my nephew, they really are the ones that benefit the most from me crafting because they are at the age where I could, Madeline's getting a little bit older, but the other littles, they're still at the age where they just like getting gifts so I can like experiment and then just give it away to them. So I'm just going to weed this like I normally would with any normal HTV. So just weeding out the negative space. I did try this flocked HTV with my dollar store stockings that I didn't even include in the video because it was such a fail. But I'm thinking it was because the material of the stockings was so like, I mean, they're from the dollar store. So it's not like they were, you know, this amazing quality. And um, yeah, it kind of failed. So how cute is that gonna look? Oh, I really hope that this works. I've again, so this is my second time using this flocked HTV. So we'll see if it was user error or if it was those stockings that were just terrible. Because I'm sure it's not the HTV. The HTV is is it is what it is. Like so, we'll see. And also, I think using this iron, I'm also, like I said, going to just use an iron, so nothing fancy. I think the, that'll be better for these because they're so small. Bonus craftmas video. I've had this piece of flocked HTV forever, and I have just not known what to do with it. So here we go. All right. So like I said, I'm gonna put these like this. Morgan. Cooper. All right, so I'll throw my scraps away. This desk trash can, I don't think you can see it here, is so amazing. I have it linked below. It's freaking awesome. I am so thankful Lots of Style sent that to me. Okay, so 
Um, for using our iron, we have it on the hottest setting, which is cotton. No water in this, so we don't have to worry about steam being on. And I think I'm going to get rid of these tags. Okay, so we have our iron on. And when using an iron, I always use a piece of parchment paper just to protect the... Um, vinyl, the carrier sheet, everything. And I'm just going to move this away from the seam because there's like a seam right here. So I'm going to try and move it a little bit away from that to make it easier to iron. All right. So I'm going to place my carrier or my parchment over that, take my iron, and I'm just going to hold it on there and give it some good pressure. Just holding it. I don't know, this is, I'm not counting, maybe like 15, 20 seconds. You guys, I just realized why it wasn't working before. This is cold peel. So now that we have it pressed, we're going to wait for it to cool and then we're going to peel. See, this is why it pays off to listen or to, to follow directions. So I'm going to let that sit, get cold. We'll come back to it. So I'm going to do the same thing with Morgan's. I'm going to just put my iron on with good pressure. You know, I thought that might have been the case when I originally did this. That's why I need to follow directions better, you guys. Okay, so we have Morgan's. I'm just going to let that hang out. And then we have Cooper's. Oh, I'm so mad at myself. I probably could have... Those stockings might have actually been okay if I would have just followed the freaking directions. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. I just went and like looked at her website to see like, okay, am I doing something wrong here? Yep. It's cold peel. See, it says right here. Peel cold. My bad. All right, so let's see. Oh, let's see. Let's, let's just, this is pretty cold. Yep. And look at, it's peeling. Feeling just fine. So cute. Cold peel, you guys. Flocked HGV. Cold peel. This one still kind of warm. All right. So now we'll peel off Morgan's. And again, the cold peel is the reason why it did not work before. My bad. All right. Now we got coop. All right, guys, there you have it. We have our super cute little stockings. So stinking cute. And, um, you know, cold peel for the win with Flocked HTV. And just note to self, read the directions first and you'll save yourself a lot of headache. Um, I hope you guys like this. This took like no longer than 10 minutes. Such an easy DIY. And these are at Target right now. Well, they were like two days ago. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for following me, this craft miss. And I hope you guys all have a happy, happy and safe holiday. And as always, happy crafting.